Hi everyone! So it's been a while since I did my last writing vlog and one of you commented that I should make more of them and so here I am making another one and updating you on my writing journey which I have a lot to talk about actually. It's ridiculous because <laughs> so since like last October or something there are the two books that I've mentioned. A contemporary romance book and a fantasy romance series. I now made like the final decision that I would just get lost and just work on the fantasy romance series because for that there's like the first series that's gonna have four books and then there are two series that are like in the same world but like with different characters in a slightly different place and one of them has three books and the other I'm not sure if it's gonna have two or three and so it's a lot of books and I keep telling myself, like, I need to start working on that because it's gonna take me a long time to write for nine or ten books, you know? And also I have the thought, like, I should publish it as soon as possible because in a series, only one book is published per year. But, like, you can publish more than one book in one year, but you can't publish, like, two books from the same series in one year. And so I keep telling myself, like, I should probably start now so that I don't publish the last book in, like, 2035, which might end up happening anyways, but, you know, like, I want to avoid that if it's in my power. <laughs> and uh, plus, it's, like, the most exciting thing in the universe for me. I love that series so much. The characters, I are, like, <laughs> I just love it so much I can't even express it with words. But <laughs> I had this moment of realization to the day before yesterday and I was just like sitting in my room. I was thinking about things and just I was thinking about the things that I've been struggling with or just any problems, anything that I ever went through and whatever. And I remembered the contemporary romance book. It'd be much easier if I could actually tell you the names, but Whatever! <laughs> in one vlog for NaNoWriMo, I think I said that I like binge wrote the whole thing, which I did. I have like 60,000 words for that and it's like the whole thing completed. But I, because of the things that I was thinking about, the things that I struggle with, I thought I want to put that into the book, which means I have to change a lot of shit in the book. And because uh, just I want the book to be to be more authentic and relatable, and I felt like the way that I wrote it before could be relatable to some people, but like I just thought that it would be better if I put that thing in there. So that means I'm gonna have to rewrite it for the third time. It's now gonna be the third completely different version. Just I'm gonna have to completely change a lot of shit in there and so I'm just completely rewriting it using some of the old scenes that are like good and fitting but just writing a lot of new shit as well. And it's going great um, because there are just some things that I have on my mind and on my heart that I just need to pour out of me onto the pages and it makes it really easy because usually I don't write about anything that I really like feel or not you know I haven't written like that much now that I think about it but just like in the fantasy romance for example it's just like a fantasy series that's just exciting and it's not this world and it's not like sure I put pieces of some feelings or anything into the books so yeah it's like still some feelings that I've had any struggles and whatever but it's just like different from this because this I don't know it's just I never really write about any emotions that I felt I usually focus on the romance part which is something uh whatever so here in this book there's just this one thing it sounds so ridiculous to not say what I'm talking about but just something that I've struggled with throughout like high school especially just like it relates to like loneliness and just feeling out of place and f all that stuff. So that's what I'm talking about. And that's just something that has been really like hurting me. <laughs> it's nothing like, <laughs> oh God, well, I don't even, I don't, no, whatever. So I really wanna put that into the book because I wanna make the people 
who feel the same feel less alone. And before, the, ver the version that I had before wasn't the same case. And so I want to put that into the book because it's really important to me, you know? If I can help people with the things that I have struggled with and wished that someone could, ha could have helped me with it, if I can help them with the same thing, it just would mean the world to me and I would just love to help anyone who's going through the same thing and just feel feels alone, like they have no one to talk to. I just want the book to just make people feel less alone and just I want people to relate to it and enjoy reading it and uh, so even though I did not plan on writing the book anytime soon, I am now writing it and I'm actually writing it really fast and it's great so I need to like speed up and finish this video so that I can go go back to writing it. So the reason why I decided to rewrite it now is because of what I just said and also because if I started the fantasy romance series, I think I wouldn't just easily stop writing it because I love it more than anything and I want to write all the books and I'm scared I would never get back to this book and I think that hopefully once I leave to college I'm not gonna be so lonely anymore and so it's like sure I could still write about it but I feel like now that I feel it like right now it's better to it the emotions will feel more real you know than if I wasn't that lonely anymore so it's just the perfect opportunity and the perfect time for me to write this book so that I can write it and make sure that I don't just bail on it completely and then I'm just gonna try to write this book as fast as possible which I think I can write it super fast uh, because I already have a base. I have something to work with because I have the other scenes from all of the times that I wrote it before. So I'm going to try to write that as fast as I can and then I'm going to go back to the fantasy romance series and in the meantime I'm just somehow going to edit this book and I'm going to try to look for all the publishing shit and we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I, I feel really inspired and really motivated and I just told myself like I'm dying to write all these books and put them out there in the, in the world and I haven't done that yet because I haven't really I have finished books technically too but the first one was trash and the second one is the one that I'm now rewriting so yeah <laughs> if you want to get the book or books out there in the world you have to write them first and it is not easy yeah it's not easy of course it'd be much easier if I just kept filming all day and if I just went to read or binge watch TV shows but I want to write these books. I want to have a physical copy like this of my book in my hands. And it's something that I've wanted for like 15 years. Okay, I'm exaggerating, maybe like 13 years. It's something that I've wanted more than anything for so long. And sure, I can't control if anyone like buys my book and wants to publish it. Not really. But I can control and you can control if you write it, you know, just take your laptop and just type the words. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. You're gonna edit it a million times anyways. So just get it out on the paper. Tell yourself the story and then make sure that it's just great enough for other people to read the story. And then it's eventually gonna get out there in the world. But first you need to put it on the pages. And it's difficult, but it's gonna be so fucking worth it. Like, you know, I want a book like this. I want a book like this to be in the bookstore. I I just want to pick it up and hold it in my hand and be like, I wrote, I wrote this. I created this shit. And it's printed out and people are now buying it and reading it. I want that feeling more than anything. And if you want the same thing, stop stopping yourself. Stop being lazy. If you're stuck, just do anything in your power to get unstuck and just write that book because it's fully in your hands. You can keep bailing on it for years because it's just exhausting and energy draining and difficult or you can do everything in your power to make time for writing and write the damn book. And yes, that's all I'm gonna, that's, that's all for today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and tell me if you have any video requests or whatever, tell me in the comments down below. And yes, that's gonna be it. Have a brilliant day and see you soon in another video. Bye!